Hi, welcome back to how to write a platformer game in Java. Uh, in this video, we're gonna add jumping to our character. Uh, so in the last video, we talked about how to uh, resolve platform collisions and add gravity. And in fact, that's really the main algorithm. Adding jumping uh, is gonna be really easy. Uh, so we'll talk about that in this video. Okay, so let me kind of show you what uh, it will look like once we get this coded. Okay, here it is. So we had gravity last time and platform collision, and now we can jump. So if I press A, it'll jump, and then it has collision there. So that's it. So this is all just part of the just adding a, a jump variable here. Okay, all right. So let's talk about how to do this. So this is actually not too bad. So this uh, here's the the rule for jumping. Uh, a player can only jump when he's on a platform. So this is just a simple rule. Uh, so now, in other words, we won't we won't allow any multi jumping. So in some games, you can have multi jumping where you jump and then you can jump again in mid air. But we will keep it simple by just doing uh, simple jumping. Uh, so for example, uh, if I'm on a platform like right now, this is on a platform, so I can't jump. But if I'm falling or already jumping, then I cannot jump. So that's basically it. Um, okay, how do I do this? Well. Uh, we need a helper method. We need a method that allows us to know whether the sprite is currently on one of the platforms. So, for example, right now the sprite is on a platform, um, and so here's the algorithm for checking to see whether the sprite is on our platform. We're just going to move the sprite down, say by five pixel, like that. And once we move it down, now we can can compute the collision list. Uh, is my sprite colliding with any platforms? In this case, it is. It'll return these two platforms right here. Uh, and then you, you, you have to restore the sprite back to its original position. So move it back up by five pixel, so that we fix it. And then now we can check um, if the collision list is not empty. That means we are on a platform because moving down uh, makes the sprite hit the platform. And if the collision list is uh, is empty, then that means that we return false. So it's pretty simple. Uh, and then. How do I jump? Well, all you have to do is that if you press a, le a key, say A, for example, and you're on a platform, then uh, give change Y a non-zero velocity, non-zero, uh, yeah, velocity. So, for example, jump speed, say, is a certain number, because again, the Y axis is inverted. We want a negative jump speed, so that way it jumps up. Um, so that's it. That's basically the the algorithm. So let's actually uh, write the code for this. Okay, I added a, a variable, a static variable, uh, as usual, called, um, let's see if I can find my mouse here. So I added a jump speed variable, which is about 14. Again, you can modify that to kind of uh, experiment and see what you like. Okay, and then uh, we need to, I'm going to write a new method. Just write below draw here. Um, public. Again, this is a Boolean. It's going to is on platform and then I need uh, the, the sprite the, the player sprite and then um, a an array list of um, platforms or walls whatever you want to call it uh, and so so again this could be a player sprite but again if you have multiple multiple players you you can call this method with different sprite and see whether they're on uh, the platforms okay so so this is very simple. All we do is just take the sprite and then move it down. So center y minus equal to five. Say. Um, so actually, this is uh, we're moving down. So we actually want to add five because again the y axis is inverted. So we add five, and uh, and then we want to check to see if that gives us any collision. So I want to create a, a um, an array list of collision lists. And I want to call the check collision list that we wrote in one of the previous videos. I want to know whether uh, my sprite is colliding with any of the walls. This will return an, an array list. Uh, and then I need to undo what I just did. So I need to minus equal 5 because I want to restore the sprite to its original position so we're not changing it. And then now I can check uh, if this collision list size is not zero in other words uh, if this uh, collision list is not empty that means that we are on a, a platform because 
by moving it down we collide with some platform so we want to return true in this case um, else we just return false so this is really not too bad um, and now all we have to do is uh, we want to go to the key press uh, method this will be a, so we want to add another else if so the key is that uh, if um, so key code is for left right up down the arrow keys but if I want to I want to enter the uh, one of the alphabetical keys or the letter keys so if I want A I want to use key if key is the character A and is on platforms if my player and then my platform so so if I press the letter A and my player is on one of the platforms so if these are both true then I want to take my player and then give him a change y velocity a change y uh, velocity is going to be negative uh, jump speed to jump up so let's see if I can run this and see if that will work there we go so we're moving up and down catching it if I press A it jumps if I press A and move uh, horizontally it has a jump uh, a vertical and horizontal velocity so there it is this is a uh, jump here it had platform collision also yeah so this is kind of really the I mean we're basically done with the platformer to be honest right we have a platform collision jumping moving left and right um, and then so that's uh, that's basically all of the the major uh, algorithms the next thing we want to do is want to animate this character so that he can have different images we want to have scrolling but we're basically almost done with uh, this game. So, okay, thanks for watching.